thing is cooking. And Raila Dinga should be worried. Raila should be worried in case he is not part of the kitchen where the cooking is taking place. Yesterday, Kalonzo Musyoka, who was Raila Dinga's running mate in the last election, Musalia Mudavadi, who was Raila Dinga's chief campaigner, Moses Wetangula, who was one of the NASA principals, and Charity Ngilo, held a meeting in Machakos. That meeting should worry Raila Amolo Odinga in case he is not part of the kitchen where the cooking is taking place. And just like I keep on saying on this platform, that in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence. Everything is normally planned, scripted, and executed to achieve specific political objectives. So today I want us to look at this particular meeting and the objectives. But before we do that, if you're watching this video for the first time, I just want you to take a second only or two and click the subscribe button there. I'm waiting for you to click it. So that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. Now yesterday a meeting took place in Machakos. Machakos is part of Ukambani. Ukambani has three governors. In the last election, two governors were voted under NASA. That is Professor Kivutha Kibwana of Makweni and Charity Ngilo of Kitui. Alfred Mutua of Machakos was elected on Mandeleo Chap Chap, which was affiliated to Jubilee Party. And yesterday, Ngilu, who is not known to be a friend of uh, Kalonzo Musyoka, attended a meeting in Machakos. Alfred Mutua, who is the governor for Machakos, was meeting. I mean, was missing in action. And I asked myself what could have prompted Alfred Motoa to abscond from that particular meeting. Probably he's disagreed with Kalonzo Mosioka. Or probably he was not invited. But his absence and the absence of Professor Kivutha Kibana is an indicator that the meeting which took place yesterday had a political objective. And I want us to look at the objective, probably why this meeting in Machakos was convened. The first reason in my view is that this meeting wanted to discuss the Machakos senatorial seat or race. The senator for Machakos was buried over the weekend the late Boniface Kabaka. So which means, moving forward, we are going to have a by-election in Machakos. And that by-election in Machakos is going to determine the fate of Kalonzo Musioka. So in my considered opinion, Kalonzo Musioka is keen on securing victory in that by-election. So his first strategy is to bring NASA together. In, uh, we, have a, we have two other by-elections. One is in uh, Matungu in Kakamega. Another one is in Kibuchei, which is in Bungoma. In yesterday's meeting, we had Moses Wetangula, who will sponsor a candidate in Kibuchei. And we had Musalem Davadi, who is going to offer a candidate in Matungu. So probably they are trying to form an alliance. And Musalia Mudavadi captured this so well in his speech in Machakos. Listen in to Musalia Mudavadi briefly so that you can understand that probably the issue of Machakos senatorial race 
was discussed there. We have come to this understanding that during these difficult times, what is the logic of us engaging in a serious contestation? Kabuchai, mimi ni support weta. Na tuombe Stephen pia nae amu support. Na mimi ni support. In Matungu, ilikuwa ANC, Murunga. Weta meamua, they will not feel. Watusaidie. Wiper is not feeling. And here, you have lost a senator. Unfortunately, the logical thing for us to do is to team up and say, Wiper wakisha maliza housekeeping. Now I'm a more candidate wow. Then let us back them. That's number one. Number two, I think this meeting also revolved around NASA politics. And the question which Kenyans are asking is whether NASA coalition is dead or alive. And if it's dead, what's the way forward? And if it's alive, what's the way forward? Remember, Ngilu Within the political circles, most people believe that Ngilu actually represent Raila Molodinga. And I was reading a Facebook page post by another friend of mine. He was saying that anytime you see Musalia Mudavadi taking a position on an issue, then you should know that Raila Odinga is just somewhere. So do we conclude that Raila Odinga was part of this thing? And he was represented by Charity Ngilu. I don't know. But what I know is that NASA politics must have been discussed here. And I want you to listen to Moses Wetangula. Because from the tone of Moses Wetangula's speech, it is clear that he was indirectly attacking Raila Amolodinga. Listen in. I want to finish by telling you guys uh, my brother Steve, that this country has no shortage of good leaders. This country only suffers from an overdose of reckless and selfish characters in public places who derail everybody at every twist and turn. And if we can be able to ignore them and focus as Winston Churchill said, you will never finish your journey if you stop to throw stones at every barking dog. Number three is the Nairobi gubernatorial seat. Kalozo Musioka, who is the Kamba leader, has a lot of influence over Kambas, including those in Nairobi. Musalia Mdavadi, being a senior most politician from Western Kenya, believes that he has text in Arabic politics. Moses Wetangula the same. And we all know that the governor for, my, for Nairobi, Mike Mbuvi Sonko, was impeached. So the seat is vacant. And IEBC has already made it clear that you are going to have an election on the 18th March, on the 18th day of March 2021. And they're also going further that anybody who intends to contest as an independent candidate must submit their application by December 28th. And by January, all political parties who want to participate shall have submitted the names of their candidates. So there's a very strict timeline in this particular by-election. But why do you think it was being discussed? In my view, two reasons. There is the possibility that Kalonzo Musioka might opt to run for that seat. That's why online you've been seeing the, the images, banners of uh, Kalonzo Musioka, Senator for Machakos, or Kalonzo Musioka, the governor for Nairobi. 
Those banners are intended to achieve specific political objectives. Just that simple. Musalim Davadi, who is a lawyer, has the potential, and his name is being mentioned, as a potential gubernatorial candidate for Nairobi. So I want to conclude that probably this, this Four gentlemen, four, three gentlemen and a lady discussed the Nairobi politics. Whether Wiper is going to support Uhuru and Ruto, and in exchange, what are they going to be given? Are they going to be given the running net? Or are, going, are they going to be given, offered some incentives? So, in my view, that's number three the Nairobi politics. Number four. Is the Building Bridges Initiative campaigns. I was reading... Uh, where's my phone? Let me just get it. I was reading the update on official Facebook page of Kalonzo Musioka. This is what he's saying. Today we hosted leaders from the lower eastern region to discuss the BBI bill and way forward. Thank you, Honorable Musalem Dabani and Senator Moses Mitangula for gracing the event. So he's talking of the Building Bridges Initiative as one of the agenda they discussed. Now let me go to Musalem Davadi because Musalem Davadi also posted. Musalem Davadi is saying attended a consultative meeting, leadership meeting at Stone Athi Resort in Kathiani constituency, Machakos County. In attendance were Wiper party leader Stephen Kalonzo Musioka for Kenya Party leader Moses Wetangola and Kitui Governor Chari Tingilu, amongst a host of other pol political leaders from the larger Lower Eastern region. Mudavadi is not mentioning anything to do with the Building Bridges Initiative. But I just want to conclude that probably they were campaigning for the Building Bridges Initiative process. And lastly, is the 2022 politics. Lazima watu wajipange. Kalonzo, who is a presidential candidate, must figure out and craft a winning strategy. Moses Rutangula is not planning to run. But Musalem Dabadi is planning to run. So they must plan. So are they going to go for a joint ticket? Or are they going to withdraw from the race and support Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga? I am sure and certain that it's all about 2022 politics. And lastly, I think probably these guys have started rallying the county assemblies to vote for the Building Bridges Initiative process. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts. Why do you think this meeting was held? And before I sign off, I think Raila Odinga should be worried. Because if indeed this meeting took place and it was not party to it, then chances are that Raila Odinga is being isolated in this country. So you'll have nowhere to run to. Because he refused to build bridges. He went into the handshake, went alone. These guys plotted and are now here. So automatically, Lerodinga is going to be isolated because even in Jubilee, he has not been fully embraced. So you must be worried about this particular meeting. Thank you guys and please, may you have a good day.